you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to finish house rolls. Now, don't kill me in the comments. Obviously, there's no glitch to finish it the quickest, but, but I have my best tips, tricks, and best advice. Just so you guys know, I've been playing house rules since my first video. I have six wins in 30 minutes. Six, maybe seven. Maybe seven wins. I just got my reward. I literally finished two games on a phone call five minutes ago. Two games in five minutes. Because of the way I'm play, my play style that I'm following. Obviously, it's based on your team. I do have a very good team, but based on the way I'm playing, I have a pretty good play style right now. And I based it off what the other guys doing. I could literally in one or two drives finish them. People quit easily. Remember that. House rules is a game where people quit very easily. That's why when I see 12 wins, it doesn't bother me. Because people quit easily. The one last week, they didn't quit too easy. Because it was overtime wins, so you kind of played them out. This one, people quit after a drive. Because this game, this one isn't that easy. Because it's first and 20 with only three downs. And the third down, technically four. So you really have two times to get 20 yards, which isn't that easy in this game. So if you don't have some meta, cheesy offensive plays and you can't really score consistently, a few blitzes and you're done. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, smash the sub button. Okay, let's get me to 7k and then soon to 10k boys have a crazy 10k subscriber special with another youtuber that you won't want to miss Probably around September 6th now If you guys haven't already go down below turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video Just like this that is time sensitive that you guys can very much use and also let's get this video to 300 likes Did I do that right? 300. Zero, zero. Let's get this to 300 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated now guys First things first Obviously, it's first and 20. Let's go over to the things you guys can see the, the rules and the rewards so the rewards for these house rolls are pretty cool. It is a free top nat theme diamond second opponent fantasy pack, which means that you get one nat player elite from any team that's in the set. So like the Chiefs set, you could pick, and you get to pick, I'm pretty sure. You get to pick your team. So if it's the Chiefs, you could pick the Chiefs pack, that means you get Pat Mahomes. You pick the Rams pack, you get Todd Gurley. You pick the Jaguars pack, you get Jalen Ramsey. You pick the, what's it called? The Broncos pack, you get Von Miller. There's plenty of good players to get for free. So this is very much worth doing. And you could do it within under an hour and a half if you follow my tips and you could somehow and you have a decent enough team to do it. So you get 12 wins, some trophies, 450 per game coins. You get a free nap player. It's very much worth it. Now, this is switch it up with house rules. Get as many wins as possible in a top nap themed Simon set component fantasy pack. It's first and 20. Three attempts at a first down. Defensive touchdowns are worth 15. So, truthfully, I haven't got a defensive touchdown yet. But that's because I make them quit before we can get to that point. So, first and 23 attempts. So I like to do on offense. I like to run quick plays first off because people are gonna either blitz you or play really far back. I love the halfback angle. If you guys know what I need, a, a halfback angle route. It's like that route that looks like a sideways V and they come in. So I like to run, I have this route combo called post, right? Where I have an outside receiver post over the middle. I have the inside receiver flag outside. And then I have my running back. You've probably seen it in my game. If you haven't seen it in my game, plays, go watch my run it all the time. And I have a running back on an angle. So if they blitz me, the angle gets open right away. If they play back, my outside flag gets it. And if they play all of that, my post over the middle gets it. It's like a cheesy play. It's in the New England Patriots playbook. Go to shotgun. I believe it's go three down and it should be called post. You'll see it's within the first three pages. It's post, New England Patriots playbook, get the playbook. Awesome play. And I recommend protecting the left tight end and even the, and the right tight end also. If they're blitzing you, the right tight end breaks loss on the man on the outside flag. It's a very useful play. Now offensively, I don't really care about offensively. I, I like to dominate on the defensive end because if you know how people work in this game, if you dominate them defensively, they're going to quit. If they Because house rules is a game with little patience. You're there to get your reward and get the hell out of there. And that's not seasons. You don't care. And they don't care. You don't care about your record in house rules. Truthfully, guys, some quick advice. If you guys feel like you're overmatched and you can't compete, quit. Just quit right away. Why waste four quarters just to lose? You need 12 wins. You don't need 12 consecutive. You don't need eight wins in the playoffs and the Super Bowl. It's not house. It's not how we can league where you need certain records to get rewards. It's house rules. There's little patience. So you could also outlast people. If you feel like you have an edge on them, stay in the game. They'll probably end up quitting. People quit when there's a little edge. So what I like to do offensively, like I said, is post or inside zone. Inside zone is a little harder because even though you might get seven yards a clip, which is a really good running play, you might seven yards per play is really good. That's still only 14 yards. And by the third down, you either have to punt or not. And right now, you know, third down is kind of it's kind of hard to get 20 yards and two downs without punting it. So that is why for me personally, I like to pass a lot more offensively. I do. I, I mix up the run when they're really playing deep. And I like to hit him with a real, if I'm like second and 30 or whatever, I'll run it up the middle and gain like 15 yards, maybe go for it. But all depends. So offensively, I highly recommend you go to New England Patriots playbook. Go to post. 
abuse the hell out of that play. Wait till the, the X receiver is going to go up, run the post. Right when you cut, you can throw it to him, possession, catch it. Or when the outside guy throws, you throw it and you possession, catch it at the sideline. Or you angle throw it. And if none of that works, your tight end, which I have is Kittle on the right side, will get wide open on the man coverage when he cuts off the cornerback slash safety, depending on who's manned up. Now, that's how you do it offensively. Defensively, where's where it matters. So defensively, I like to make my opponents quit pretty quickly. So when you come out on defense, they're first and 20. There's three ways to do this. So if they have a pretty bad team, like you could tell like they have like 84s, 85s, 86. They don't have like a top tier team. I come out right in the blitz. Pinch buck, go to three, four odd in the Giants defensive playbook. Audible's right to pinch, blow, pinch buck. I have Lawrence Taylor and Von Miller. So, you know, it's kind of an edge, but they get off so quickly. Imagine first and 20, you need plays that develop downfield. If you're not, and if you're versus not a good running back, you'll probably run stuff in two, but don't worry if they run the ball. Because if they run the ball, it's first and 20. You could probably catch up to them within five yards. Now, second, they everyone's coming out right now and plays that develop downfield. Plays that develop far downfield. And with Lawrence Taylor, Von Miller, Donald, D-Law, any of those guys, you don't have more than three seconds to four seconds to get a play open downfield. So people have no time. And with the way this game works are under pressure throws and all that stuff, my guys are close enough to mess up the throw by then anyways, which is just a pick. So there's three outcomes. You blitz the hell out of them right away at first and 20. If they have a subpar to good team, you blitz them. You get there in four seconds, you sack them. Let's say you don't sack them. You're probably close to sacking them. So it's an under pressure throw. It's probably bad. And then even if they get the throw off, they probably forced it because they're nervous. So I, it either ends up uh, like a second and 30 or second and 40. They're probably so far back at this point. Or you throw a pick, which I've been forcing picks all day. And in this game mode, people feel that blitz. I'm telling you, blitz is the most irritating thing. I speak from experience. When people blitz the hell out of me and I can't stop it, I want to quit. I literally can't play offense. It's not fun. So if you blitz the hell out of them, I'm sorry I'm, I'm like promoting being an ass. But if you blitz the hell out of them right away and they feel that pressure and you sack them three times in a row, they're most likely out of there. So I, I'd rather take my chances trying to sack someone a few times and getting them to quit than playing four downs, playing four downs, playing four drives, playing a full game. Trust me, it's definitely the better move. Now, from the standpoint of they have a good team, like a great team, I come out, I, I come out like in a cover three or two right away. First play, I come out in a cover two because people are going to drag you to death. But remember, they can't drag you to death on second down because a drag will get you like five to eight yards. And it's second down already. So that's why I like, to, I like to mess up the first down first. Once you get that first down out of the way, they really only have one down left because it's third down is the, when you punt. So I like to mess up that first down. You mess up that first down, you probably have them for the rest of the drive. So that first down, if they have a really good team, I typically come out in a really good coverage, such as like a cover two. I play the outsides for the out routes, and then I use it in the middle with Ron Shazier. If you can just stop that first down, people are going to come out in drags. I like, to, I like to, um, to pretend I'm blitzing. I pinch my defense in. And then they typically audible to drags or slants. And then when they do that, I'm still in a coverage. I was never really in a blitz. So I kind of do a show blitz, but I really do a cover two or cover four. I mean, a cover two or cover three. So then they typically throw throw real quick short. I have guys there. They drop the ball. I nail them. I hit stick. I'm in the flats, whatever. They get like three yards. Then on second down, they come out. And now they're like, okay, it's second down. Next down is third. I need to get a long ball. I come out and pitch buck. They have no time to develop. And occasionally, occasionally, there's going to be plays where they get a lucky catch. You miss a hit stick, whatever. But for the most part, in a strategy of coming out in coverage first and showing a blitz, and they think it's a blitz and they drag right away, and you're right there and they can't get any yards. And then the second down, coming down on pinch buck, sacking them or forcing them to make a bad read because they're, they're waiting downfield. They have to. They don't have a choice. They need to get the first down, but they have to punt. There's really no other option there. So typically, they're going to come out. They're going to look for a developing play downfield. They're going to sack them. So overall advice. Great team, come out in coverage first and then blitz them. A bad team, you can probably blitz the whole way. And if they start figuring out and they start doing out routes and stuff, you can come out in coverage a little more often. But trust me, I have gotten through, I think, a grand total of about seven games in maybe under 30, 40 minutes. I haven't played any more than that. I literally get into the game and I get them to quit on like the first, second drive. Obviously, you might versus like a really good competitive guy and they might just destroy you. But at that point, just quit. Like I said, don't even wait that one out. But guys, trust me, this is probably the best strategy of how to do it. Good teams. Coverage, then blitz, blitz. Bad teams, blitz, blitz, blitz. If they're a bad team with a good mind and they don't have to play football, coverage, then blitz, blitz. And then offensively, New England Patriots playbook. Go to shotgun three down post. The outside route's always going to be open, literally. And if it's covered by man, the inside route, when it cuts over, you'll see it. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Or the halfback angle. Those, those route combos all together cover low down for Marcus Allen, my tight end out, another out route and inside route. If you couldn't read it properly, I like to do my reads high to low on that one specifically because it's a, you need deeper routes. So I like to look for the out route first 
and then come back in for marks down. But if I know they're going to blitz me right away, I just back up, back up, back off, dump to marks down. Trust me, it's an OP route combo. All you need to do is score once. Score once and then blitz them and they're out of the game. Or vice versa, blitz them really hard. They might even quit right there if they see your team's good enough. But guys, that's about it for the video. I hope this helps you tremendously. We're getting these done quickly. I know no one wants to be playing all 12 of these full games. I understand that. And it's only 12 wins, not consecutive, so this isn't really a hard one to do. I hope this can help you guys. If you need any advice, DM me on Twitter or comment down below. My Twitter handle is poodle underscore YT. If you need any help, hit me up there. Comment down below. I'll help you out with the scheme. But guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the sub button. Turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And let's get this video to 300 likes, boys. That's it. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.